rain and wind causing issues on the road this morning, having a big impact on travel all along the East Coast. More than 50,000 customers are without power right now. So if you're heading out, you are going to want to give yourself some extra time. We'll get a closer look at the roads right now with WBZ's Katrina Kincaid from Mobile 4. Here in Copley this morning, the wind is definitely whipping around, whipping around that rain as well. Definitely heavy rains. We were on the roads earlier, and uh, those were kind of a mess, very slippery and slick. But here you pretty much can't even use an umbrella outside because the wind is just so uh, high this time. We've seen some umbrellas even flip over here in Copley. So make sure if you're coming out, you got a hat, you got your raincoat on, even some rain pants if you have them. But back to the roads, uh, there's some ponding going on, a lot of ponding. So make Make sure you can get around that safely or through it safely. Keep it slow. Uh, watch out for hydroplaning as well, especially on some of those winding roads. Thankfully, because it's a little more daylight out, visibility is better and you'll be able to actually see the roads earlier this morning. That wasn't really the case, but it is the law still to have your headlights on uh, as long as you have your windshield wipers going. So just make sure to give yourself in general some extra time heading out the door this morning. In Boston, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News. And the weather causing real issues all over the place. Danvers uh, drivers in Braintree should expect some delays here. The traffic overhead lights at five corners are down. Police are asking people now to avoid the area. And in Shrewsbury, they're dealing with a few tree issues this morning as well. They're responding to streets off of Maple and Harrington Avenue. Take a look at this. Officials are estimating power restoration there of the power lines being down could take up to three hours. And Menden Street in Upton is closed right now because between Chestnut Street and the town line, there is a downed tree right there. You can see it fell onto a vehicle that was driving by. Thankfully, no one was hurt. National Grid crews are now responding.